Hey, what's going on, Poonchinators? Poonchi here, and welcome back to my survival let's play. Uh, a couple of things happened while you guys were gone. I collected a lot of, a lot of sand, and I'll show you guys that I'm going to do with that pretty soon. And I also updated to the new snapshot of 14W06B, not 7B, but basically I upgraded a lot. And then for some reason, uh, all the animals are like glitched out. Like you can see this one pig. Uh, every so often, he just kind of like glitches out and then glitches back in. So I don't know when when I came out of my of our um, XP farm room thingamajig, uh, there were like a b b like a thousand chickens just like everywhere. They weren't in their pen. There were like five in there, about three here. It's like two in there. So I killed off a lot of them, and this fire aspect, I f didn't know that, it cooked the chicken automatically, so that, that was uh, that was pretty cool. But, uh, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but uh, let's go back down, and you'll notice that the, see look, this guy's like glitching out again. Uh, you might have noticed that the water texture is just a little different. And uh, if you didn't watch the Hunger Games episode yesterday, or the day before yesterday, uh, I think I mentioned it, I... Grab the water texture from the Spax Pure BD Craft Texture Pack, and then just mix it with the default one. So tell me what you guys think about it, and maybe I'll change it back. I don't know. Personally, I really like how it looks uh, on the lake, but it looks a little weird, like here. It looks a little weird there, and then it looks a little weird up there. But other than that, I think it looks great. I think I'm on peaceful right now, and I'll explain why I did that as well. Because I was grabbing sand, and then there was just like zombies punching me while I was getting sand, so I turned it to peaceful. Uh, but I wanted to grab a couple pieces of sand was I put ladders here and I guess this can be our little observation deck of all the zombies dying. So I thought this was pretty cool but I feel like maybe this gives them extra, uh, an extra light level. So that's the one thing I feel like I don't like about this because I think this one torch is making it like really um, bright for them. So I might put like redstone lamps here. Cause those aren't like too bright so i'm sorry if it's a little dark right now I'll just place the torch down but yeah all right so we'll just leave that there let's go smell some of the sand we had and let's go make some redstone lamps actually hello hello all right so let's put some things in there hello and uh i think yeah i did some other things while you guys were gone as well i think i only need one piece in there really we can stack two more in there all right, hello, hello. All right, so I went fishing a little more, and I got a couple more puffer fish, couple cup puff that puffer fishes, uh, some more raw fish, and some more salmon's. Uh, our enchanted book's still here, so sharpness three, fire aspect. So that's pretty cool. I was thinking about applying a uh, unbreaking to our fishing rod because it's about to break soon. But uh, until that happens, I think I'll just leave it as it is. Why is that? block glitching out I don't know the skeletons are glitching out too and uh, this is a snapshot just a stupid snapshot okay well let's go back on up and let's place you there let's use our sulk touch all right so I think I'll just do something like this like a nice little observation that can I'll put like a, uh, a couple of redstone lamps along the floor so it's, it's lit up but not to the point where it's like super ultra bright and none of the skeletons can spawn. Oh, I'm gonna look up how to make a redstone lamp actually so give me one sec. Low 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 redstone lamp. I was trying to think of something epic to do this episode but I really couldn't think of anything so which that's kind of embarrassing but actually let's take it down and eh, nine chunks good enough. Alright so redstone lamp I think I need glowstone for this right? Do I yeah one glowstone and four redstone surrounding it perfect. Okay so let's go do that now. And I guess, yeah, this will just be a building episode. I guess we can just chillax for, like, the moment while, while we prepare for that wither fight that we're going to have pretty soon. And I'm probably going to start preparing for that next episode, actually. You know, we're, we're approaching the big 50. So we got two redstone lamps. And we pretty much have no more glowstone. Which is really sad. So I guess that's another project for us. Um, I guess we can keep, in like, doing this. Well, this is pretty boring to be honest, you know, so we might pay the nether a visit again. You guys saw that skeleton totally glitched out like, oh my god. Might pay a visit to the nether actually really soon, so well, let me dump some things away. 
Oh, so much junk. To be honest, I can just really throw all of that away. Like, I really don't need it anymore. And then more junk. The enchanted stuff I actually kind of want, though. So, I guess we can toss out uh, the gunpowder. Gunpowder, I think, we don't really need. This, we don't need. The enchanted stuff, I'll just keep. Whatever. Um, Alright, so what else did I do? I'm trying to remember if I did anything else. I don't think I really did. Combined a couple bows and stuff, but... Other than that, I didn't really do much. So yeah, I think it's time to pay the nether a visit. And we're going to grab a bunch of glowstone. So another building episode, but it's gonna, we're going to have a jolly old time. So, let me come up here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What to talk about? I don't actually know, but I want to thank you guys for all the support on the uh, that past Hunger Games I uploaded. The one where I was talking about me getting VIP on MCSUD. That was... Holy, like a hundred likes! I think, even on the uh, the episode of of this series, my survival series, where I was fighting the Ender Dragon, I only got like seventy or so. So that was ridiculous. I have no idea. Oh wow! I was like still mind blown, pretty much. Okay, so now we are back here. I uh, need to find some glowstone now. So hopefully, just being the Nether in the snapshot will not completely lag out the game because there is a lot of chunk errors that aren't loading hello hello load up load up nether this is not a place where i want to be to die at the moment hello hello oh yeah i got these pork chops from killing a random pig uh where is the glowstone oh my god this is so sketchy because the nether does not want to load in the snapshot hello there we go oh oh so there's all the glowstone how are we gonna i have 36 cobblestone but that's not nearly enough to actually block up. Okay, well, you know what? YOLO. Um, just, we'll just grab some netherrack. So let's make our way over. And hopefully no gas decides to like shoot us off or anything. Hello. Hello. All right, we'll start doing a little zigzag action here. Hello, hello. Are you, are you almost there? Almost there. So we should have enough. I'm hoping we'll have enough blocks. Alright, some more zigzag action. Are we? Oh, oh, oh no. We kind of skipped it. Alright, give me that. Can I, can I have this? Can I have these blocks actually? I actually kind of want them back. I need these blocks. Hello. Dang it. Okay. Uh, so we got to make our way this away. Yeah, we're probably going to run out of blocks. No. This is so terrible. Sorry if this is like a really crappy episode, but oh, we are almost under the glowstone. So I'm going to block this way just a little bit more. And let's go grab some netherrack. So yeah, again, sorry this is such a terrible episode, but oh well, you know what? We can all wait for 50, the big 50, because I am so excited for that. So I guess I can talk about some of the plans I have for that episode. Uh, what I plan on doing is fighting it. Um, I think diamond armor might be a little OP. Uh, still deciding on that part. But I think where we're going to fight it is we're just going to fight it in the open air. I'm still debating. I need to like do some research on how withers actually do that kind of stuff because I'm afraid that it's gonna fly. But that's my biggest concern right now that the wither will just like float away forever, and I'll never be able to see it again, and it's gonna totally destroy our world. So that's the main uh, issue I have at the moment. Uh, do I have a fortune one? This for fortune gives me more, right? Yeah. Hello. Give me. Give me. No. Stop dropping. Dang it. All right. Hello, hello. Give me all the glowstone. I know a lot of it is dropping. Okay, so it's got to be... So oh, here it is. I was just going to say, I couldn't find it. What is wrong with this pig man? Like... Hello? Are, are you okay? Oh, 
Oh, look, I fixed, I fixed him. <laughs> I'm the doctor, I fixed him. I don't know what the heck was wrong with him, but I think a lot of the glowstone fell into the fire parts here. I almost hit that pigment. That would have been really bad. But we got a lot of glowstone from that, so perfecto. Let's just start mixing all of these 17 blocks. Perfecto. All right. So let's make our way back. And like I was saying before about the wither fight, uh, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards doing it in the open air. Uh, it's kind of 50-50 right now. Either I'm going to do it in the open air or I'm going to do it at the top of the nether. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, the top of the nether would be an interesting thing though because he could still fly around. So I wouldn't really be cornering him into anything. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I feel like the, the, the thing that's holding me back against fighting him like against a mountain or whatever is that he's just going to fly off. And my, me being a terrible archer, he's going to just like... He's gone. He's just going to fly away. I'm never going to see him again. And, you know, that's a waste of three with the skeleton skulls. And he's just going to completely wreck the world. So, I don't know. The one downside about fighting him in the nether is uh, it, it'd be a long way to get back here. Because I was hoping I'd be able to like put a bed next to where I fight him. So, if I do die, I'll spawn like right next to him anyway. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still deciding. Maybe we'll fight. I'll like fight him like an obsidian tomb. I don't know, I, I need a lot of obsidian for that though. So, still hesitant? Give me some ideas, by the way, so you guys can just like leave your comments below on what you think I should do. And all these pigs, man, like what the heck? Okay, so that wheat's still growing over there. Actually, I can go harvest some of this right now, but I'll just leave that there. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I looked at it, uh, nah, I don't really want to touch that right now. So. Let's go back down and we're gonna go feed uh, Oreo later with some raw fish because I think she needs some health back. I don't have the damage indicators mod obviously because I'm on the snapshot, but you know, stuff happens. Okay, so, alright. Alright, making our way down. So yeah, you guys probably know, yeah, the water's green here. I have no idea why, why it is, but let's go make some more things. Alright, so... Let's just do something like that. We'll combine them. Because why not? And we'll give, grab like 12 of them. And then we'll just place them on the ground. I think I'll place them like uh, maybe one here. Let's just use a regular pig. No need to waste stuff. Wait, no, that's netherrack. And that is not. That, it looks really similar. We'll put one like there. And then we'll put one like there. So we'll like skip one maybe. Oh, there's iron here. Hey, that's. That's pretty convenient, and I think I might make this little chamber thing um, stone brick. Like, I'll replace the stone with stone brick. So I'll mine out this one as well. I think this is pretty long. I don't really need to make it any longer than it is. We'll just make it the length of this thing, I guess. And then the glass. Hello. Hopefully the skeletons don't aggro onto me, because I think they are actually aggroed onto me at the moment. Let's grab some more glass uh we'll just throw that in there for now all right so climb back up the ladder this is just a little observation that because we can't really see them fall to their death and i feel like it's it's just not the same if we can't see them die uh maybe i will do this all the way across hmm. we'll see how bright it is uh but yeah i think uh no let's do something like that and let's go grab all the stone we have. I actually really don't like the ladder part. Like when I come down, it's just not very fl like fluey, flowy, whatever. Uh, let's make some of you. Hello. Just toss you out. Whatever. <laughs> I really don't care. Yeah, I don't like having to like do that. I don't know. I don't like it. I need. We need a better method. Uh, so what was I gonna do again? Right. Let's get rid of you. And now it's super dark again. Hello. To mine out you guys. Might use the silk touch one to grab some stone so I don't so oh that's a silverfish block. Oh wait, if you use silk touch on a silverfish block, they don't actually drop as silverfish? Oh, that's interesting. You know you learn something new every day. Okay, so let's get rid of you and then we'll place you like there and like something like that. We'll probably replace the top as well. Oh yeah, we are under, under like under an extreme hills biome, so that's probably where all the silverfish is coming from. Okay, so now we gotta replace this. 
do a little magic like that. Uh, do I want to replace the ground here? Hmm. Maybe I should have made, made this like uh, paint. What was it? Tainted glass or painted grass? Uh, glass where it's like the colors to it. I don't know. I think, well, this is good for now. And then we'll break you. All right, some interior decorating skills. All right, put you up there. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Yeah, I saw a comment. And I don't know why, but I saw a comment saying when I say hello, it's really annoying. Uh, oh, well. What can I say? Uh, I guess I just shouldn't say hello to people then. Like, if I meet someone, I'll just, I'll just be like, hola. I just, I just won't say hello. Or, or maybe even any form of hello. It must all be annoying, huh? Oh, well. Okay. It looks like we're running out of stone, actually. All right. Oh, please don't shoot at me. Thank you, thank you. This actually looks pretty nice. I like this. And then we'll just like make our way back down. This is the variety of stones. I like it. So I think that one stone block uh, disappeared forever. Let's throw the dirt away. Let's throw... We're going to need more chests. We're running out of space like very, very, very quickly. Um, Alright, we need some redstone to power the thing, obviously. Do we have any more redstone? We only have three pieces of red... Oh, 445. Okay, there we go. I don't think we'll need a comparator for that though, but we are going to need a lever to actually power the thing. Again, I'm a noob at, I'm like a complete noob, so we need one stick. So we got one stick and we need a piece of cobblestone. So, hello. All I need is one lever. Noob at redstone. I should probably watch them like, watch them like dummy redstone tutorial videos or whatever. Okay, so we're going to have to actually mine below this. Alright, so, uh mine below and i'll place a torch down because it's probably a little dark okay so how far does this actually go up to there okay so up to there and we're gonna just put cobblestone why not and actually no we're gonna have to put redstone like that i think this should actually power it again i'm a noob so uh if this doesn't power it i don't i don't know what to say let's just test this out uh, no, so I think it has to be adjacent to it. Is that it? I don't know if it's actually adjacent to it or... Huh. Oh, there's no... It's not linked. But it's still not actually powering. So I don't know what to do. I'm such a noob at redstone. Oh my god. Alright, be right back. Derp. I need a redstone lamp somewhere here. So. need a redstone lamp. And I might need a comparator. So actually... Just do this right now, right here, right now. Let's let's see how this looks. Uh, I've done this before. I don't know why I just like all of a sudden forgot how to do this. So let's place a piece of cobblestone there. And that does not light up all the way. So let's do a little thing like here. We'll just mine around this thing. Hello, hello. Okay, so that, that all of this is not lit up. So maybe... No, I need a comparator. I'm going to need a comparator. Or maybe... This only lights up three of them, but if I put on, let's just make a couple more redstone torches. We can do this to really get away. <laughs> all right, so that should power all of this up basically. So now, if we grab the stone we had and make an another staircase, it's all powered up. Yay! <laughs> all right, but yeah, this is really bright still. So this is gonna limit the way they spawn like a lot. Uh, maybe if I break this one. Oh man, I'm kind of stuck now. Hello. Uh, let's break you. Okay. And then let's place you there. Huh. So if I break this block, now none of them are powered. So if I place a... Um... Oh man, this is so... Because <laughs> I'm in like a really cramped space. So if I put one there, one there... Okay, so we're looking good so far. Alright, some very technical stuff is going on. Alright, so this is still really bright, actually. So if I put this here, I put that there. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. This is really, this is gonna light up this place, like, so much, though. Just, like, just this, even one, one redstone lamp, I think. Look, that, that provides a lot of light into... Hmm... I don't know actually. This is really tough because that's going to limit their spawn by like so much. Let's 
cover that. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess we'll put that project on hold for now. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'd like to create an observation deck, but I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Whoa, wait, why are you outside? Oh, okay, it glitched out. I was like so scared. It's like, whoa, why are they all glitched out? But it's just another uh, snapshot glitch. What, what can you do? It looks like there's a lot over here. I'm not getting all that much XP, though. So I don't know what to say about that. Uh, uh, oh, the arrow's chest is almost full. Hello, hello. Can I get 30 levels, actually? That'd be pretty cool if I could get 30 levels. Because I want to, I kind of want to get punch on my bow. Alright. And then we'll finish you off. 22 levels. Alright. And let's throw you, all of you back in there. Okay, so I'm trying to think really hard about how, what I should do about this. Like, what can I do? Um... I really actually don't know. Actually, if I make uh, like stained glass, I just thought of it. If I make stained glass, will that help in any way? Or will that not help at all? I, I really don't know. Oh my god, this is so terrible. Jeez. What do I do? Because I really want to see them fall down, but this is going to limit their spawn so much. Just with like leaving this one torch. This one torch. Um. But then again, all that light down there is not helping at all, either. Hmm. Well, I think what I'll do is, I'll put redstone here for now. And then if I start noticing that it's not really spawning as, as much as it used to, then I'll just remove it. But for now, I think I'll keep it lit up. And then let's get back down here. Let's place uh, one like right there, I guess. Oh, that's, a, that's not a redstone torch. Uh, where's the, oh, all the, the other redstone torch is all the way over here. No, I, right, we need a new anvil. This one's like broken pretty much. Okay, let's grab you. All right. Some more building projects. We got to make this place look homey though, you know, it's like, if we're gonna, if we're gonna spend so much time down here, we might as well make it nice and pretty. So let's get rid of this block. Place you there. Get rid of this block. Place you there. So what else do I need to do? We need a lot more stone brick, actually. Let's grab four more. Because that's all I really can make so far. So that's one, two, three. Alright. And this one, I guess. That's the last one. So yeah. If this starts to inhibit their spawning rate, then I'll get rid of that. I feel like it is... But, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll never know. Maybe maybe if I change the glass, then maybe. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. They're not spawning as, as often as... Yeah, it's really bright up there now. It's, like, not even spawning, like, even a little bit. Okay, so time to look up. How long is this recording? Right, 23 minutes. Time to end this pretty soon. Uh, Minecraft stained glass. Hello, hello. Stained glass is the dyed version of glass. Does it change the light level in any way? Any light will be not tinted due to limitations of the current. Hmm. Oh, well, either way, I think I'll do this on my own. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and leave your ideas on what I could do for, you know, like a future wither fight, you know, in the next like three episodes. So leave your comments below and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.